the key is not the will to win everybody has that it is the will to prepare to win that is important before we delve into streaming telemetry let's take a moment to appreciate the significance of telemetry data in the world of networking traditionally network monitoring relied on periodic pooling where devices would be interrogated at regular interval of time to collect data about their status and performance this method had its drawback including limited granularity delayed insights and increased network traffic due to frequent pooling now picture this what if we could access real time data directly from the network devices without the need of constant pooling that's where streaming telemetry comes into play it's a game changer that provides network engineers with a continuous stream of data allowing them to make informed decisions faster and more accurate hello friends my name is sabi and in today's video we'll talk about telemetry traditional tools have been used over last 30 years such as snmp syslog and cli cannot easily provide proficient network visibility snmp is too slow most organizations have pooling rates at between 5 to 15 minutes and it's difficult to operationalize because of strict snmp semantics and computational burdens that snmp imposes in the network also the collected data might be incomplete because of the management information base might not be available for a particular piece of data also traditional tools are networking specific and might not fit well in the cloud driven applications with streaming telemetry we can direct data to a configured receivers you can use this data for analysis and troubleshooting purpose to maintain the health of the network routers provide several mechanisms such as snmp cli syslog to collect data from a network these mechanism have limitations that restricts automation and scale snmp requires mip to implement and enrolled mips do not always support specific variables or events syslog messages do not always follow a specific syntax and can require a great deal of processing to be interrupted correctly another limitations to the snmp cli and syslog mechanism is the use of pull model and which the initial request for data for network management stations in the network with this model the server sends data only when client request to initiate such requests continuous manual intervention is required this continual manual interventions makes the pull model inefficient so streaming telemetry provides a mechanism for choosing data of interest from a router and transmitting data in structured format to remote management station for monitoring telemetry uses transmitting data in a structured format to remote management station for monitoring telemetry also use the push model which provides near real time access to the monitoring data this mechanism allows for automatic tuning for the network based on real time data which is crucial for its seamless operation stream real time telemetry data is useful in the following situations where we have traffic optimized when link utilization and packet drops in a network are monitored frequently it is easier to add or remove links redirect traffic modify policing and so on so with the technologies such as fast reroute and the network can switch to a new path and reroute traffic faster than the snmp pool interval mechanism streaming telemetry helps data to provide quick response time for faster traffic it helps to quickly detect and avert failure situations that results after a problematic conditions exist for a certain duration telemetry is not new snmp uses the pull model when retrieving data from a network equipment netflow exports flow records from the interfaces syslog sends log messages about events on the routers ip sla monitors a link with a internet control message protocol which is icmp all these methods can be achieved with telemetry model 
where a push model collects and continuously streams the data to a collector near real time. Telemetry gain and efficiency over SNMP by eliminating the pooling process. Instead of sending requests with specific instructions that the router must process each time, telemetry uses a configured policy to recognize what data to collect, how often to collect, and whom it should send. Traditional method use a pull model to request information at a regular interval. The data you collect may help you to efficiently monitor your network of manageable size. However, as your network grows in complexity and scale, the data that you pool may be insufficient for efficient and effective monitoring. Additionally, the pooling methods are resource intensive and network operators face information gaps in the data that they are collecting. With the pull model, the network devices, the server sends data only when the data collector requests. Initiating such request requires continual manual intervention. This manual intervention makes the model unsuitable and limits automation and the ability to scale. Telemetry uses a push model that automatically stream data from a network device. Instead of collector requesting data at a period, the network device streams operational data in a real time. Telemetry focus on the power of scale, speed, and automation. With the power of flexibility, you can select data of interest from the routers and transmit it in a structured format. Using a finer granularity and higher frequency of data available through telemetry, DevOps engineers in the organization quickly locate and investigate the issue as soon as it occurs. So why telemetry? Telemetry can provide the same functionality such as traditional tools. For example, it can use for monitoring network health, troubleshooting, making sure that the SLA are met and capacity planning and the security. The major advantage of telemetry is that it can provide these function in near real time. So real time use case like network health, troubleshooting, SLA performance tuning, capacity planning, security. And the trends that have been there is centralized, software defined, speed and scale. The capability has the elasticity, influx DB, Grafana, big data, Hadoop and open source. Model driven telemetry provides a mechanism for stream data from MDT capable devices to a destination. The data to be streamed is determined through a subscription. The data to be streamed from a data set is in a Yang data model. The Yang subscription model allows subscriber to specify what to include in the update notification and what triggers such as update notification. Also, the data for a subscriber data set is streamed out to the destination to a configured value. In MDT, you can define sensor groups that use Yang models, which define the type of data that you want to stream out. When configuring MDT, not only you require to define sensor groups that works with the, these data models, but also you need to define the encoders, either Google protocol buff or JSON and define the transport technologies such as UDP, gRPC or TCP. Then the data can be sent to a particular destination to some sort of collectors or applications. So when we talk about the components of model driven telemetry, we have destination which specify one or more destinations to the collector, the stream data. The sensor path specifies the Yang path from which data must be streamed, subscriptions like binding one or more sensor paths to the destination and specify the frequency of our streaming data and the transport and encoding which represent the delivery mechanism of telemetry data. The option to initialize the telemetry session between the router and the destination are based on dial out mode and dial in mode. So the dial out mode, the router initiates a session to the destination based on subscription. Whereas in dial in mode, the destination initiate a session to the router and subscribe the data to be streamed. The dial out mode supports TCP and gRPC transport, whereas in dial in mode, it supports gRPC transport. Encoding or serialization, which translates data into a format that can be transmitted across the network. 
when receiver decodes the data it can be semantically identical copy of the original data protocol buffer are google language neutral platform neutral extensible mechanism for serializing structured data which is faster smaller and simpler strings are basically readable and self describing but not efficient so google protocol buffer are widely adopted highly efficient way of encoding telemetry data gbp was designed for a simplicity high performance and compatibility compared to xml gbp has 2200 times better serialization performance and 3 to 10 times more compact so there are two gbp encoding options compact gbp and key value gbp the main difference between the two gbp telemetry formats is how they represent the keys any piece of data is interesting only if you know what it is for example if a router send you an integer such as 449811 it could represent anything such as up time packet in bytes out or so on to know what is 449811 is you need a key you will configure and verify model driven telemetry in the routers the routers will send the telemetry data to the pre installed telemetry collectors and the transport protocols that have been used is grpc udp and tcp so we will see that how we can configure and verify the model driven telemetry using a telemetry collector which is influx db and prometheus and then we will use grafana to use visualize the graphs so now we will see that how we will configure model driven telemetry and verify it we will have few categories of telemetry collectors so the custom collector that organization build for their own environments we have some open collectors that are freely accessible and commercial proprietary telemetry collectors so we can have open source customizable kibana grafana we will have like prometheus panda we will have in the router commercial stack and using these we'll see that how we can do a telemetry from a Cisco IOSXR router and collect the information and then put it in Grafana to visualize it.